Welcome back to Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads. I'm your host, Sarah Buck. Families coming together to support the community is a beautiful thing, and for the 17th year running, Volunteer Hampton Roads is providing an opportunity for families to do just that. Here to tell us about this year's Family Volunteer Day is Crystal from Volunteer Hampton Roads. Welcome, Crystal. Hi, thanks for having me. So for folks that are watching that might not know what Volunteer Hampton Roads is, why don't you briefly tell us about the organization? Sure. We've been around since 1957. Um, we're one of original 200 volunteer centers across the country. And our mission is to connect businesses to community service opportunities, train and equip uh, nonprofits that need leadership development training, and then also connect volunteers through our website um, where we list volunteer opportunities based on interest area or um, location. So you have a really big event coming up here in a few weeks, and why don't you tell me about that? It's Family Volunteer Day at Virginia Wesleyan. Sure. Family Volunteer Day is one of our largest events of the year. It's a thousand volunteers um, that pack into the Virginia Wesleyan College gym. It's a We're, lot of people. It is a lot of people. <laughs> um, we usually reach maximum capacity every year just because so many people enjoy getting involved. Um, we pack 800 boxes of food that go to 13 local nonprofits in our area um, across Hampton Roads. So if I come to this event, mm -hmm. what can I expect? What does it look like from a, from what would it look like from my perspective? Sure. For um, a first time volunteer, it probably looks like organized chaos. Mm -hmm. But the truth is um, we've been doing this for 17 years. So it's actually um, a pretty well organized formula. Um, we've got different boxes of food underneath 13 long tables. And then once the gong hits and the DJ starts playing music, um, we, the volunteers start packing the boxes of non-perishable items and then send them out to trucks to be delivered to the shelters. And this is really a family event. So you encourage families to get involved. Children Absolutely. can also help. There's no age limit. Um, we really encourage uh, family volunteering just because it provides quality time for mothers and fathers. Um, it also strengthens communication and provides good role models for children. And talk to me a little bit about the recipients and talk about the need. Absolutely. Um, this time of year, it really is a difficult time with families stretched thin trying to get ready for the Christmas or mm -hmm. holidays. So this provides an extra meal on their table. Um, we give food to 13 different shelters, including the food bank of Southeast Virginia and the peninsula. And um, it's just an extra way of giving back to the community and kicking off the holiday giving season. And how do you get the food? How do you get all these items that you're packing? Great question. Um, it wouldn't be possible without the Hampton Roads Corporate Volunteer Council. Mm -hmm. That's a coalition of about 55 businesses that give back to the community. Um, they all donate the food through their employee volunteer drives, and then that food is stored at the food bank and then sorted at Virginia Wesleyan College. And these items are items that the food bank has identified as Yes. Most needed? Absolutely. And there are, we tend to err on the side of healthy items like oatmeal or mixed vegetables, just things that would provide good nutrition for families in need. And you have great support from the community. Why don't you talk about some of your supporters for this event? Sure. Um, it wouldn't be possible without Norfolk Southern uh, Corporation PRA Group. There are presenting sponsors mm -hmm. this year. They also presented uh, last year. And they also send a huge team of volunteers to actually pack food at the event. They all wear their corporate t-shirts. So there's a lot of pride in, um, in their businesses giving back to the community. Uh, but we also have many partners throughout the community that uh, make this event possible. And so um, just to, to get an idea, it's corporate organizations, mm -hmm. and then families. Mm -hmm. So what's the process for, if, if I want to sign up and bring my family with me, what do I do? Sure. Um, right now, registration is just open to our corporate partners that are donating food, mm -hmm. but as of November 4th, registration will be open to the public, and we encourage folks to just go to our website. I believe it'll be posted on mm -hmm. um, the screen here, but they can just sign up um, online, and they can register for a team of up to 15 people. It can be their family or additional family members, or Boy Scout or Girl Scout troop. It can be, it's open to community organizations. Great. So this, again, is Family Volunteer Day. Yes. It's November 21st at Virginia Wesleyan College. Mm -hmm. uh, what else do you want to leave our viewers with today, just really quickly as we wrap? Sure. Um, this is just one event of many that we have throughout the year. Um, if you're interested in getting involved in the community, we have multiple volunteer opportunities posted on our website, and we welcome you to come anytime or give us a call, and we can help match you with a good nonprofit. Well, it's really great work what you do for businesses and for the community. We're so happy to have you here. Again, that's Saturday, November 21st at Virginia Wesleyan College. Space fills up fast, so be sure to log on to www volunteerhr.org to reserve your spot. Thanks for watching. For Hot Ticket, I'm Sarah Buck.